Uh, Congressman, uh, why has there been so much difficulty in getting a full-service uh, veterans hospital in Manchester? Well, we have a full we have a hospital in, in uh, White River Junction and also in Jamaica Plain and in Togus. Um, I support a full-service hospital. We have to figure out a way to do this legislatively without uh, using it using an earmark to get there and I'm working with the rest of the delegation to see if we can achieve that goal. In the interim I've supported efforts to uh, make sure that the contract that the VA Center in Man Manchester has with the Concord Hospital is renewed. Uh, veterans seem to be pretty happy with this at least on an interim basis but over the long term I think the solution here is to open up the VA system so that veterans can get some sort of an identification card and get services at any hospital. In that way, we would make every hospital in America a full-service veterans hospital. So would that be, to use uh, the term de jour of this election cycle, would that be a voucher system? Of course not. It wouldn't change in any way the, the benefits that veterans receive today. All it would do is expand the possibilities or the options for them so that if you live in Colebrook, you wouldn't have to drive to White River Junction or to Littleton. You could go to the Colebrook Hospital and get a service there and they'd get reimbursed. We have many small hospitals in this state that are underutilized. And why should veterans have to drive to veterans' hospitals? We certainly like the veterans' hospitals and want to continue to have them, but we also want to be able to provide services in rural areas uh, for veterans that need help and, and allow them to go to local hospitals, not in, in more than just life-threatening instances.